Good morning, parents, siblings, grandparents, teachers, and other honored guests to this year's graduation ceremony. My name is Rakesh Graywell. I am honored to be the valedictorian for the graduating class of 2013. A writer by the name of Jared Kintz once said that the year you were born only marks your entry into the world. Other years where you prove your worth, those are the ones that are worth celebrating. Well, this year is a celebration. It's a celebration of how much we've done and how we've changed in these past four years. I look around the room and I know that many of you are legally adults now, which is something that really, really scares me. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago when we used to all play touch football, four square, or tetherball outside at recess at an elementary school. It was a simple time, a time when we only had one teacher for a whole year. A time when the term sick wheels meant that you had a really nice bike. <laughs> but we grew up, and not just in height. As we shifted into grade nine, we accepted the fact that we were big kids now, even though we felt small in the hallways. I was told in grade nine that I was four years away from being let out into the real world, and that those four years would fly by very quickly. While I didn't believe Mr. Wright at the time, I can tell you now that it only feels like a week ago that I first stepped into those halls at Centennial. Finding my classroom was a struggle with someone back then, for no one told me that the home ec room was strategically hidden so the grade nines would never find it. <laughs> By the time grade 10 came around, we felt like we had already mastered high school, and we were ready for anything. We were dead wrong. <laughs> if I learned anything from Ethical 9, it was to always be prepared. <laughs> the hardest challenge I had in my second year at Centennial was when my favorite part of the day was taken from me. Lunch. <laughs> Instead of my usual routine of going to McDonald's for a McDouble and a junior chicken, I was forced to sit in a room and learn how to write the children on a right turn. <laughs> but after many long, grueling hours in driver's ed, it was all worth it when the kind lady in SGI gave me my letter's license. <laughs> Even though Centennial's only been around for a short seven years, we definitely left our mark in the city. We've had numerous city and provincial soccer championships, palm squad championships, and a basketball championship. Our senior boys football team managed to keep the streak alive by once again making it to the city finals here. As Chargers, we not only work hard in practice, but also in the classroom, as we keep our status as one of the top schools in academics across the city. It is safe to say that we have set the standard for other students who will attend here in the future. Despite all this hard work, we still managed to have some fun nursing year here. We went, riding, we went from riding Yale school buses to flying Air Canada for our field trips. Those who took part in the History Study Tour program spent three weeks traveling to beautiful locations such as Germany, Poland, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Our school band took a show on the road as they flew down to California to get away from the snowstorms that were happening here around middle of May. <laughs> and those of us who were privileged enough to be in Mr. Blackman's English 30 class took a short but sweet vacation to the forestry farm, which to me was up there with the other two. <laughs> I want to thank Senior Pin and Watch, Cassie Johnston and Quinn Stevenson, as well as the entire SRC team for arranging all of our pep rallies, school dances, and spirit days. You guys really worked hard to make our last year here a memorable one. Also, congratulations to anyone who was involved with the production of Bane Jr. and One Axe, both of which were extremely entertaining. And to the art students for filling our school with such wonderful pieces and murals. It seems like we've accomplished a lot in the last four years, but of course, none of this would have been possible without the people who supported us all the way. I want to give a quick shout out to parents and family for being there, teachers for being there, staff and faculty for being there, Giorgio, for being there, <laughs> and that traffic cop on Adrich, for being there. <laughs> but all kidding aside, a wise person said that the most beautiful thing in the world is to see your parents smiling, and knowing that you're the reason behind that smile. We would not be where we are today if it were not for the love and support that our parents have given us throughout the years. Your mom and your dad picked out your clothes for you, they packed your lunch with extra cookies to help make friends at school, they got all your crayons and construction paper together, and then they drop you off at school. For me, this was just last week. <laughs> as embarrassing as it is, we've all called teacher mom at some point in our life. When you think about it, we really weren't that far off. A teacher's a role model, someone who you can not only associate with, but also learn from. 
We really appreciate the time and the effort that both our parents and our teachers spent all to see us become fine young adults. Without all of you in our lives, we would never be where we are today. So for your guidance, I thank you. Finally, to my classmates, who I'm honored to graduate with. It's been a fun ride, hasn't it? Whether you spent your nights doing piles of homework, devoting your time to sports, hanging out with your friends, or watching Gossip Girl like me, <laughs> we all have our own unique high school experience. The one thing that we all have in common is that we're all here graduating today. We all got here our own separate ways, and we are all leaving in many, many separate directions. But as the great Dr. Seuss said, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Change is what you make of it. Moving forward can be good or bad, all depending on how you approach it. Accepting change is just one part of becoming an adult. Although you will no longer be my classmates, you are all still my friends. I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak on your behalf and for sharing this experience with me. I can say that without a doubt, I would not want to be with any other class, in any other school, in any other city than with you guys here today. I hope that this is the last time we meet, and I sincerely wish you the best for your futures. Thank you.